From the first conversations with Benjamin Franklin, France and America have borrowed political and artistic ideas, and each has served as a model for the other. For 50 years, I, this house, has been at the center of this continual dialogue, welcoming diplomats, fostering exchanges, and inspiring future generations. This is my story, the story of the U.S. Ambassador's residence in Paris. It all began in 1836, when the land at 41 Faubourg saint honore was purchased by an American heiress from New Orleans, Baroness Michaela de Pontelba. Her visionary mind would create significant architectural achievements in both New Orleans and Paris. She commissioned Louis Visconti to build her Parisian home. Within my walls, she would bring together a passion for French architecture, decorative arts, and noble entertaining. Then in 1876, Pontalba's home and several of my furnishings were sold to Baron Edmund de Rothschild, leaving only parts of the Pontalba gatehouse. The Baron undertook a complete redesign of my structure. Above all, his art and philanthropic interests transformed me into a home with one of the richest and most admirable private collections of etchings, manuscripts, and fine decorative arts in Paris. But the Rothschild family had to flee during the Second World War, and I was turned over to the German Luftwaffe to be used as an officer's club until the liberation of Paris. In 1948, I was purchased by the U.S. government I was converted this time into an office annex for the United States Information Service. My grand salons became offices where post-war economic recovery communication emerged. As the United States grew as a world leader, I was to be renovated by French and American architects to become the residence of the U.S. Ambassador to France and Monaco. My first floor now includes four bedrooms, the Thomas Jefferson Presidential Suite, decorated with objects that reflect his lifelong fascination with France. This particular suite welcomes every U.S. president during their visits to France. The Franklin Bedroom, dedicated to the great inventor who was a precursor in the scientific and diplomatic Franco-American alliance. The Lafayette Bedroom, named in honor of the French general who fought alongside George Washington in the American War of Independence. And finally, the Lindbergh Bedroom, commemorating Charles Lindbergh's historic flight across the Atlantic in 1927. Historic objects, patriotic art, and period furniture have been generously donated from both sides of the Atlantic through the Friends of 41 and the Fund to Conserve U.S. Diplomatic Treasures Abroad. American and European art, loaned through the Art in Embassies program, creates a vital cross-cultural dialogue and inspires future artistic endeavors. Since 1972, a succession of 15 ambassadors have inhabited my walls, each bringing their own style and flair to the common purpose of forwarding our Franco-American relations. For the last 50 years, in my salons, I have watched diplomacy at work in many different ways. Political, economic, and cultural affairs have been at the heart of discussions and the decisions. The Samuel Bernard Salon has been home to concerts and conferences, fostering exchanges that inspire new ideas. The sculpted panels of my ballroom can be transformed to a theater where programs on the visual arts inspire future generations. For me, the life of the future as well as the present is always to have a very interesting, compelling project to write. But then at the end of the day, you're the one responsible to getting the work done. And so you have to ultimately you know, make decisions to keep everything moving forward. And the thing that I'm most proud of in my career is that 
ma mère surtout, elle m'a toujours dit euh, la, la choix la plus importante, c'est l'authenticité et c'est la vérité. My state dining room, with its gilt silver and beautiful French tapestries, is the perfect setting for the art of diplomatic gastronomy. Major receptions, as well as significant press conferences, also take place here. These three brave young Americans demonstrated remarkable bravery in order to subdue a heavily armed individual. The flora and beautiful statues that adorn my garden provide a setting for diplomatic conversation at the highest level, as well as smaller gatherings and meaningful commemorations. Each year, my garden hosts the annual July 4th Independence Day event, and thousands enjoy food, music, and commemorations that focus on patriotism. I stand the test of time as a unique residence with historic French architecture, world-class art, and welcoming salons which serve diplomatic purposes. Without a doubt, the people and human exchanges which take place here play a key role in the United States' political and artistic presence in France. They are ample reasons to celebrate my 50 years of service. And yet, I need once again to evolve to meet the future challenges of modern diplomacy. Together, we must ensure through conservation and renovation that here in my residence, the dialogue of new political, economic, and cultural ideas continues to thrive between two countries who share a mutual respect and admiration for each other.